Well, really excited not just to welcome to the BT studio, but to welcome to Alberta, James Adomian. He's a master impressionist, a hilarious sketch performer. You know him from Last Comic Standing and his many appearances on the late, late night show with Craig Ferguson. James is performing at Yak Yaks this weekend, part of the kickoff to Pride Week, which City is very proud to sponsor. Really nice to meet you. Uh, well, welcome to Alberta. Thank you. I'm loving it. And welcome to the 6 o'clock hour. <laughs> this is the <laughs> This is the best. Uh, this is the best August I've ever had. August in Alberta. That's my new motion picture I'm filming. I, would it be a musical? I sense like, yes. like a song attached to that. Yes, and then a big storm comes in. <laughs> yeah, well, that would happen for sure. <laughs> um, happy Pride Week! This is a really exciting Absolutely. way for us to kick this off. I'm so excited. Yeah, I, uh, I've never been to Alberta or Calgary before, and uh, I'm here doing shows for uh, Pride Calgary this weekend. Okay, you. Uh, I, I hope I'm sort of framing this correctly. Uh -huh. There's a difference between being a comic who happens to be gay as uh -huh. opposed to like a gay comedian. Mm -hmm. Does the, is, is there a distinction? Well, sure, I guess. I don't know. I mean, uh, maybe you, I, I, I am gay and I'm a comedian. Yeah. I don't know if I don't, uh, and they, they both happen together. Right. <laughs> but like, I mean, there are some people whose like entire shtick is like, I'm a gay comic. Right. As opposed to. Maybe I mean, it's, maybe it's 40 to 60% of my <laughs> shtick. <laughs> and now is your shtick going to be um, bigger? Look, <laughs> is your stick bigger and longer <laughs> now that you're at Yuck House Pride Week? I say speak softly and carry a big stick. Am I wrong? Always. 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 Is there more content that's um, based, you know, in sort of gay reference? Well, no, I mean, you know, I talk about my life. I, I talk about representations of gay people with the media and stuff. I love uh, gay villains, you know, with the mustache twirling. <laughs> like, I will show them. Like, I'm obsessed with gay villains and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I touch on that stuff. I do some impressions. And uh, um, hopefully it's fun for the, 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 the whole family, <laughs> whether, whether they live together still or not. <laughs> I Coming up in the comedy world, I mean, it's it's a whole study in itself, but there is a lot of homophobia in comedy. How have you Well, kind I mean, of it's not as bad as it used to be, I guess. Right? Yeah. Well, has it changed noticeably for you during your time coming up, or was that a long uh, time ago? Everybody's been very nice and generous to me, and there's some people who are like, you know what, I don't like, you know, you're the kind of gay I like, you know, and that's, that's you know, it's coming, it's, I guess it's progress in some way, but... Uh, uh, I, 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 th I think what I just try to do is uh, show people that uh, maybe their ideas of, you know, what boxes people can be put in are a little bit limited. <laughs> so, but it hasn't, it hasn't been an issue that you've really had to work with or work through um, on the comedy circuit. Yeah, I mean, I've been called bad words a few times here and there, but uh, to everybody, that happens to most people, right? Well, I guess theoretically comics are supposed to have thick skin. I have very, <laughs> I have very thin skin. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so much, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Now, a lot of what you do um, are impressions, and I, they're stellar, by the way. I love them. <laughs> um, who is your favorite? Is, are, do you? I know you. You did George Bush. A I used lot. to do George Bush a lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate. I appreciate that. I think uh, for everybody coming down here, it's good to be. It's good to be sitting down here, uh, Tamara. <laughs> sitting here on the couch sofa up here in Albert Land. <laughs> I want to know, though, how Jesse Ventura became one of your signature characters. Yeah. How, how did that evolve? No, I love him. Well, I first knew him uh, from professional... <laughs> yeah, there it is. I first knew Jesse Ventura as a professional wrestling announcer, and he would always pick out the sexiest moments of wrestling where he'd be like, Look at that. That's not only painful, it's also humiliating. <laughs> and you're like, okay, wow. I, I get it. It's sexy. Um, but then he's like, he's done everything, and I'm obsessed with it. He's like, he's a, he's a political figure. He's uh, he's running for president, hopefully, and uh, he's a big conspiracy theorist. And I love that all of those worlds collide in one person. Do you have any Canadians in your repertoire? Um, probably. They're, you guys are half of television, it's, right? <laughs> that's true. That's true. We're generally very funny. <laughs> uh, and I saw your your tour schedule is absolutely relentless. What's your... Yeah, it's getting crazy soon. I've been all over Canada this summer, and, uh, you know, I'm never very far away from my northern neighbors. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to Hawaii and, Euro Hawaii and Europe for the first time uh, I thought you were going to later Ant this year. Antwerp. I'm going to Antwerp in Belgium, yeah. Like, how does, I mean, how, how does comedy translate when you're in Antwerp? Let's find out. <laughs> you send us a note, and you let us know. Okay. Well, I am really excited that you're here. Uh, I want to let you know uh, it's happening at Yak Yaks at the Elbow River Casino tonight through Sunday. The early show tomorrow is sold out, so you better hurry up and get your tickets. Also, James' comedy album is available 
online and, uh, and in stores now. So yes, more... low-hanging fruit. Low-hanging fruit. You're very funny, my Thanks, friend. Baby. Really nice to meet you. More information and links at breakfasttelevision.ca.